my job on, on uh, Ghost Recon Phantom is uh, as the lead animator. I create character animations, I make our characters move, reload weapons, jump over things, take cover. The game wouldn't work without animations and the animations wouldn't work without the code. It's a, a friendly constant battle <laughs> to make sure that we get things working properly. Actually, I'm kind of surrounded by programmers. I work really closely with them. So yes, Kelly poked me all the time. So we have a new animation, we need to put it in the games. My job is to make sure that uh, we only need a small tweak, small adjustment, so the animation works well even with the new characters and new assets. Uh, I tend to do most of my research online, just looking at videos, look at actions. It's quite difficult to get your hands on an SA-80 uh, assault rifle here in, in Singapore. However, what is good is be able to act out the motion yourself, because then you realise if the animation you're doing is, is believable or not, or natural. I do tend to make a bit of a fool of myself inside the office, yeah, to kind of prancing around and doing actions. I think the guys around here have kind of got used to me. So you can see him like uh, taking a, a fake gun and actually posing and testing out some of the moves. Uh, and it's kind of funny, but it's very useful. I've been working with Kelly like all these years for for movements, and I need to have this exact sound with his animation, and it all comes to these batches: uh, game design, animation, then sound. Whenever I'm in the planning stage of doing an animation, um, I will call over Beige and I'll explain what I want the character to do and what I imagine the character is going to be doing. Uh, so it gives him a bit of a heads up so that he can be thinking about audio-wise what he's going to do and start to prep for that. Once I've finished the animation, I sit back down with him and show him through and then he takes over and uh, has all the good stuff. Well, sound design is paramount uh, for any game really, but Ghost Recon Phantoms in particular, because it really adds to the sense of immersion. That you really feel like you are on the battlefield uh, with your teammates uh, fighting for the win. For Ghost Recon Phantoms, uh, all the weapons start in Nicole's uh, great list of guns. So we start processing by, you know, editing, adding effects, making it loud, making it, dis it distinct from the other guns and we, we hook it up with the artist's uh, 3D model and animators uh, animation for the reloads and that's it. There is naturally uh, an immense amount of creativity on Ghost Recon Phantoms. Everybody can contribute to ideas and feedback. Beach uh, is constantly assaulted by people who come back to him and tell him, oh, you've made that change, you've made this change, you've added that piece of music, you've added this feedback. Um, because we can and because we care. What I want to do is, I always want to please the players. The sound that I really like is the sound of the AK-12. I've been able to create a mark, something that is me, but it's not. Something like a blend of both, and that, that makes me very proud. The slightest mistake has an immediate impact and an extremely long-term memory. People remember you for what you've done.